All right, this is night number four of our negative 100% accuracy on all of our heroes run. And at the moment, the goal is just to uh, to stay alive while some of our builds come online. Let's see, with 278, our poison, ah, slow, actually slow death, hold on. 278, poison, that, that's gonna be, that's gonna be 160 plus another 80 is gonna be 240. Nice, okay, cool. So we can, we can do that and that will, that will prove non-fatal. Over here, we're just, we're just chilling. And I don't want our, I don't want our poisonous to affect too early. So I think we're just, we're just good. Like lambs to the slaughter. All right. Blockers is, is annoying for sure. Now we want to be careful. We don't want to poison these ones that we stunned outside of the walls. That's that's poor form. And then the stun ballista takes takes effect over here. But now we can definitely let the poisonous go. In fact, it looks like this is going to be pretty ideal because these guys are not quite going to die. They'll be at two hit points. Before I move, though, if I want to, I can soften that guy up. Okay, and then we do, we do need to be a little tanky. This poison doesn't kill either of these hoppers. So the argument, I think, is to just stun him up so that we don't have to worry about it. Then let's see, over here... We need to let some enemies come in over here so we can start getting down to work. But at the moment, we have no panic. This is going to be all good. We can start chipping away at this guy. Oh, actually, I think that means because of what I just did there, we need to take one step back so this guy doesn't get poisonous. You're in, so you, you can definitely take the poisonous. Okay. Looks reasonable. Okay, so let's see. So now, now we've got some... Wrong, wrong ability. Let us let us never speak of that again. Now, now we get to use contaminate for the first time. Hooray! Not the best path for the. Uh... How much poison are we doing? Eighty-two. Exact lethal if we use both of these. So. Okay. Nope. That's not. That's not how math works. Pay no attention to me. <laughs> that is not how math works at all. Let's 
Let's see how much how much work are we gonna do over here? Mass math work with poisonous. Yeah, it's not not my finest not my finest play. I think I think the solution is probably just to get the stuns that way and then. I wish we could. Actually, we can toss you, can't we? range is definitely something. Now, you guys combined. 74 poison plus 44. 74 plus 44 doesn't kill this guy, so we need to poke him, but then the rest of these guys all die, and then we can start coming over and working on this. Yeah, I think we can, we can safely stand here. This guy I don't think is going to be able to do much to us. This guy got re-stunned too, which is nice. Quick math fail. Yeah, it was not even close. Oh no, he didn't get re-stunned. Or maybe he did. Septic Shock and Poisonous, the way that the stun works is kind of kind of odd. We will, we will toss you because I, I think we're, we have extremely good. Options here now this. Okay, we just wanted to see if the stun propagated slightly differently. Unfortunately, no, no luck. So over here, oh, just wasted the stun on you. That was not great. Wow, the the luck that we got there was, or the, or I should say, the lack of luck that we got there was pretty brutal. So these guys, these guys all die just to poison us. And then the hopper. You're doing 132 poisonous. Ah, eh, that'll, that'll, or 132 poison. That'll probably be okay. Yeah, he'll, he'll probably still walk in. And then we need to figure out if there's a way to take this guy out. Oh yeah, you're right. They are. Good call, uh, Dio. Septic shock stun happens at the end of player turn, which wears off at the start of the next turn. Right, so it basically barely shows up. That's that's what I was kind of getting at. Ah, uh, this is decent. Sure. Okay, so you... You are at 127 with 46 poison already. You're going to pick up another 46. That's not enough. But you can... Hold on. I'm going to kill these two because what we can probably do... Is get this hero more into the thick of things and then maybe we can make everything work out. Oh, we actually just have transfers, don't we? So now we have 44 plus 46. 44 plus 46 is 90, right? That is true as well. That is perhaps, one might describe that as easier in Lustrous. Good call. 
All right, these guys all die. And this guy is doing a lot of poison damage. 74? Yeah, that's pretty decent. So I think I think we have all the kills here. Yep. That is 100% of the kills. We can, if we want to, slow death this guy. Put you there. Then you, you two over here. Uh, one of you needs to get this guy sorted. That'll do. Okay. All this is getting sorted out. It's a little hard to see the panic, but I think we're good. The hoppers didn't come in the way that I was hoping they would, but I guess that's life. But this side already looks done. And then over here, I think we need we do need to transfer this hero over. Because Poisonous does... Oh, Poisonous does reach this guy. Okay, or or that just happens. This blocker needs to go away. Now you're at two and you're outside the... You're outside the radius. Okay, that that handles all the poison, and then you can start working your way back this way, I guess. Just trying to get this hopper dealt with a little bit. I don't really want to get too poisoned, but yeah, we're we're cruising here. We get the stun, so we're all good. We have one more contaminate, which I'll put there. Oh yeah, I can't, <laughs> I can't hit things. This, you can tell how smoothly this run is going because the fact that I can't hit things is apparently not that big a bother. That I'm forgetting that that's the case. Let's see, you're doing 74, so we do need to put a little bit of poison on you. Then everybody dies here. That is satisfying. Oh, I missed this guy. I guess we just... Let's see. So, so what I'm thinking is we... I think we take a step back with you. Wrong ability. But there we go. Now that we've got this...
All right. Looking good. I think we can probably proc a stun here with this. Uh, we tried. Okay, no panic, no problem. So we can move you in, toss you to here just for more septic shock goodness, and the rest should just die. Yeah, so far Perseverance hasn't done much. Uh, that may change though. Okay, so let's see, so you... That's annoying. Then if you step down one. Stunning entrance there. Contagion here. Doesn't matter if we're debuffing our, our friends because they're already quite debuffed. I think I might ice this guy just to maximize. Actually, we should we everybody should move back a tile, shouldn't they? Like that. There we go. Now we're now we're the human wall. Although I, part of it is dwarven wall, I guess. It's always strange to me that there's no Poison resistant. Poison frogs should definitely be harder to poison than other enemies. I, I agree with that statement. And then we can all move back one. poison is our poisonous putting out at this point across everybody 44 plus 46 we said that was 90 plus 74 it's like 160 something it might be enough to kill these claws too Definitely enough to kill this Kindled. Who's causing panic right now? Oh, this Kindled. 164? So we would be four short. Of the average Klar. That's all she wrote. Pretty solid so far. Oh, not getting level 6 on Argavarlin feels bad. After last night, this wave pattern with these flags seems odd, but... I think it's it's one more night of resource scavenging. What are we building though if we take more resources? I I think we should just grab some gear. Let's start getting some gear. Let's do our levels. Another contagion is a nice pickup. It's a little sad we're not to Sadist yet, but I don't think Sadist is nearly as important as some other things. I think Stunning here is potentially better than Sadist. So I will take that. But we do have our two Contaminates now. 
And then let's see over here. Ooh, tough choice. Skill range versus stun. We're already at 45% stun. I think we got to take skill range. This is kind of, this character is like our, our mortar character, right? They're, they're wherever they need to be in two skill range, I think makes a huge difference there. AP is, is good to see. A little bit of stun. Everybody needs a little bit of stun. What is going on? Abigail, did you modify all these challenge saves to uh, to give like a jillion multi-hit items? Because this is getting a little ridiculous. Great gear actually here. Holy cow. These are all pretty solid. Is multi-hit that important? Later on, I think it's going to be pretty important. So I'll grab it. We did talk about the fact that, hypothetically, we could have someone get a rocket jump. That's a sweet cannon, but I don't think that's the play right now. Yeah, it does have a damage component. I took, I took cannon because I think that it might be awesome for collateral damage and overheat builds. But we will see. This looks like a pretty easy reroll, although this wildling armor is worth a lot. Accuracy on a helmet. Should have checked the other the helm there. I I got lazy. I might not be able to hit anyone, but I can target everyone. True, Truer words have never been spoken, I think. Well, if we're going to take a cannon, that could be a cannon to take. The offhand gauntlet isn't terrible. We're not going to roll a cannon. We might roll an offhand gauntlet. I feel like we have a lot of people who just have nothing in the offhands. Yeah, we have a fair number of offhands. I'll just take the offhand gauntlet. Let's see. And then I think we can get the other benediction upgraded so that we really are good on mana. Then let's do let's do some gearing up here. So for now, you're going to get a lot of multi-hit stuff. Marginal. I, I want to keep that, though. Who's our second best stunner? It's you. Well, or we could give Argov... Argov Arlen already has 7%. Okay. So you... 29% becomes 30-something percent. I don't think we're using this. This I might hang on to. You can do some snapping if you desire. You already have a poison trinket. You already have a poison trinket. All right. Don't think that's doing much. And then this I kept just, just because. And then I think before we sell anything, we do have... Resources for Shopkeeper's Friend. Let's just do both of them, I think. Yeah, so far so good, Abigail. But I think we got super lucky on our on our starting heroes. Like, like insanely lucky. So, I don't want to... Uh... Oh no, we lose accuracy? I'll grab those pants for sure. Kind of like this as well, even though it's a little expensive. I think, I think we're good for another night uh, here. I do think, let's get our last house upgrade. Do you want to get four more pieces of gear? 
Yeah, let's just do that. I don't think the return on, on that is quite as good as, say, sinking them into workers, but more gear is more fun, right? Oh, nice. Ooh, also nice. I'm going to lean into the poison angle. Ooh, fake cape with 9% stun on it. The, the gear gods... They're, they're not angry at us, that's for sure. The Devil Helm doesn't have stun on it. In my head, it did. Let's see. You have... You have six movements, so you can take that shield. Then... You're at five skill range. This puts you at six skill range. Gives you a little bit more stun. This wasn't long for the world anyways. And then you get that. I can't say no to that. Let's roll it once, see if we get something interesting. 20% XP on a on a wand could be interesting. But I don't I don't think it's quite worth. Move and mana. Only the brood helm does? Okay. Like I said, this was this was only in my in my delusions. Let's see. Uh, not not that chess piece. Prop bounces on a gauntlet, I don't think is that wonderful. Warlock Greaves are definitely the way to go. If the linen, linen armor and fur armor look so similar, are they the same sprite or are they just similar sprites? I just realized, do we get, do we get no runic gifts? Not a damn runic gift in the house. Let's see, anything else we want to build? Not really. Let's do repairs. Two materials down the drain. How will I ever survive? Let's give it one more roll. This gauntlet is is sick with it, though. With two skill range? Thank you, Dio. Thank you. Two skill range, 40% healing, 25 health, 10 poison. It's pretty decent. Ooh, also, I think with six skill range, we are happy to... I'm going to do this instead of the gauntlet, because I can do that and the warp scroll. And that's just that's just getting up to up to 70% stun. Do I want to get rid of this? Who's our next closest stun? We have a 37% stun. Is this better? We do lose some movement. I mean we can get the movement back that way. I think this might be better. Same sprite, different colors. Maybe that's what I'm seeing. Okay. So we'll put Argavarlin. Oh, there's a corpse here. I'm like, why can't I? Why can't I move Argavarlin? Okay. I think we're. I think we're ready to rock and roll. Do we want to, I mean, we can, we can do wall upgrades. There's not really a reason not to. I would have been smart probably to build barricades over here. Especially. Just because that that prevents if like we get a flyer up here, we won't have as much of a problem. But I think we're good to go. All right, night number five. No accuracy, 
no problems. Right? Now you have a sledgehammer now. I think I already missed the wand a little bit. Maybe not, though. We'll hold off on the hoppers for now. Yes, because we have walls, we're not we're not nearly as ruined as we uh, as we otherwise could be. So let's see. So you get you get this guy. Yeah, they're they're taken care of. That guy's taken care of. Whoops. There's not... There's not a lot of value here. We don't have Sadist yet, so we're not getting a lot of value, but... Three movement is enough for this guy to get in without doing any damage, so we'll do that, and then... I'm just going to deal with them later. That's the plan. This guy dies to poisonous. This... You. You, sir. What am I going to do about you? All right. Well, we'll see where he runs to. Hopefully, he runs towards us quite a bit. Ooh, spear dudes. Got those two sorted out. 118. Exact lethal. Oh, you love to see it. Should have should have done that in a way where I got some more value out of that, I think. Is he coming now? So if we just move back, we're we're fine, I think. Then we, we used up everything here. The hopper may be coming in. Which is like a little... Eh, if we take a poison, we take a poison. Well, I guess we can do this, can't we? From downtown. Alright, and then... With our remainder, I think it's probably just best to delete some stunned enemies here. No boomers. This is a blessed run, Abigail. It means we're going to lose it at the 11th hour, so, you know, get get ready. Get ready for the, the shock and awe. Everybody gets a little bit of poison, unfortunate. That's uh, taking too much work to kill him. Hmm. 
We've got a nice little plus symbol here. You... Are you poison? Does your poisonous just kill the runners outright? It does not. Okay, you're you're getting roasted, so that's fine. We got an elite coming in shortly here. But it seems like best bet is to bring you over here. You still have actions left. Can you get these two? Huge. All right. Good. And then this, this guy is our last person who's doing that. We might as well get you with that. And then we could we could snap if we wanted to. But actually no one is uh no one's stunned, so. And then you still have actions, so we can just like Oh, we haven't we haven't got rid of this guy, have we? There we go. All right. Better. And then I think this is our best poisonous concentration here. Are you getting... Actually, maybe not. Maybe something like this is our best poisonous config. And then who are you poisoning right now? Just that one guy? That's probably fine. Maybe I'll move left one. We'll get a runner. This is, Abigail, this is why we need seated runs in this game. Like, I, I really stand by that. I think it would make a huge difference. Okay, so let's see. So now we need to... We need to do that, and then... We get that. Let's put Contagion here. And then I think you can hopefully do this. Contagion here. You're going to start a transfer over. Still have lots, lots, of, lots of work to do here, but this side, I think it's good. And then you probably want to like run over here because you're going to get more poison action over there. And then over here, oh, you are out. Uh, do we have a transfer? How far do I have to walk to transfer you? That far? Because getting you around the corner and then also getting you contagion is good. You, sir, are in the wrong place at the wrong time. Hello, Kasarian. Welcome. Where's, uh, okay, this, you're the problem then. I don't need to pop this guy. The it'll be better if I don't. So let's just make sure that this guy gets killed. Okay, I don't think the hoppers are coming far enough in for that to be a problem. You're just hanging out. Where does Poisonous get to? Eh, moving over one doesn't help us much. Okay.
We're getting chipped down a little bit by the uh, the by the poison. Not uh, not much to do about that. It it really is. It's it's such a such a lovely such a lovely outcome of this particular ridiculous build. It's uh, it's good stuff. Pretty excellent. All right, let's see. We can do that, and then you hopefully can transfer that stun. Lovely. All right, who's getting... I think this looks like a good stunning entrance. Okay. Because this side, this side looks very under control. Let's see if we can get a septic shock proc. No, no dice. So I think we're best off doing that. All right, now. Oh, I forgot to contaminate. That was, that was foolhardy. Oh, I was out of contaminates. All right. Well, that makes it that makes it less foolhardy, if nothing else. Who has who has contaminate? You do. Oh yeah, but you're not stunned. <laughs> it. It is kind of kind of crazy how how easy it is to forget what the challenge actually is here. So let's see. So you're doing how much poison? 85, 82, 60, 54. All three of these are dead. So I think we're just I think we're just chilling. What about you, though? You you look like you're just... I, I missed you? And probably best just to do this so that we get some poisonous on the Lancer. In fact, I think we get double poisonous on the Lancer. Yeah, good stuff. Okay. Yeah, we, we do not have a lot of raw damage. This this is this is to be known. Let's see. So I think we'll go. Why do you just you have septic shock, Argavarlin. What is your stun percentage? Seven percent. Well that explains everything. Ah, we still got it though. Nice. Okay. I didn't contaminate. Damn it. That is that is really uh gonna drive me up the wall and around the corner. The elite is stunned, so we're not we're not in too much danger. Okay, that'll be good enough. Okay, no panic. We should probably try and poke this guy down a bit, just because he's not he's not going to die to poison too easily. Although I guess now he's definitely going to die to poison. And then, just so that this hopper doesn't poison us, I'll do that. Hmm. Looks like everybody over here is is pretty stunned up. 
Uh, is there a place I can stand where I get both of these hoppers with poisonous? Sure, I'll do that. Oh, that did not kill you, did it? Okay, but you have contagion, so we're not gonna mess this up again. Yeah, I'm starting to think maybe uh, maybe accuracy is just like a totally overrated stat. Maybe maybe playing with accuracy is a crutch that we've been we've too long suffered. I'll do this in two parts so that I don't stun my friend here. I still think it's pretty important, <laughs> but, but, but certainly there are, there are clearly strategies that make use of, of a lack of accuracy. New stat tier list. Did I not contagion that guy after all that? Man, this is just... This is going to be the death of me. Let's see, what's the what's the most shameful way I can kill this hopper? I think that's probably it. But yeah, no, accuracy's not dropping off my tier list, I don't think. No, no time soon. We do have to remember that we are on Lakeburg Apoc 2. So we're not exactly uh not exactly pushing the uh the limits of things. Alright, this guy's gonna die like the rest. The idea of accuracy as a crutch was what I thought the 0% accuracy run would teach you. How much does accuracy matter even if you don't need to focus entirely on guaranteed hits? I do think this challenge is more interesting. Free friendly fire and attacking your own walls is a nice added bonus. It does, it does change things a little bit, Abigail, but, but yeah, I, I think it, it is very interesting. Okay, so everybody hits level 6. What does that mean? I don't think I even care about Toxic Leech. Healing seems like another crutch that we we don't necessarily need in our life. Whenever at least five enemies are hit, that seems like not the run we're on. I Quick reload I could see being pretty beneficial on this hero. I, I need to come back to this. I'm, I'm not sure on that one. Over here, I think Sadist is an easy take. 
Same here. Still looking for those collateral hits. Nimbleness could be okay. I think quick reload, though. Okay, Argavarlan. Argavarlan is already our... No, not our stunner. Ooh, very nice. Picking up a big stun is good. And then... I can start dabbling in crit. I think that's fine. Poison damage on Run Devara is good. Damage is good. Damage is probably fine there. I will take the stun. Okay. So, let's see. Alright, and then one of these. There's certainly an argument to be made for us to pick up our last hero here. Or our fourth hero, excuse me. Although I think we could do this on four heroes too, so maybe maybe one in the same. Ooh, nice wand. Oh, that's, a, that's, not, that's not an offhand wand though, never mind. That makes it less interesting. Well, so in this case, uh, Fat Oak, we're not using any abilities that can miss at all. So, so there's something to be said for the fact that in this case, like in other cases, yes, but uh, but in in this case, Fat Oak, all of our heroes have uh, negative 100% accuracy, locked in, impossible to change. So, uh, yeah, so that's why. Like, literally, we cannot hit with any ability, no matter what. Which makes for an interesting challenge. Although, it also has some, some positive side effects that I don't think anyone was, uh, was fully foreseeing. High-level gauntlet. Eh, it certainly sells the best, so I'll grab it. Mithril armor is not that interesting. Do we have anyone who... Our hats are pretty okay. Ooh, plus two move on that hand crossbow is quite nice. Stun on this power staff is good. Stun on this power staff is good. I think power staff is the better is, is better than sledge for someone who's not like fully mainlining uh stun. Thank you, Fat Oak, and thank you for the uh, thank you for the sub yesterday. I'm not sure if I caught you when it happened, but uh, but I greatly appreciate it. That hammer is not uninteresting. Ooh, Twenty percent poison on a gauntlet. Offhand crossbow with an action point, though. I think that's the thing that we take. You are you are too kind, Fat Oak. You are too kind. Thirteen percent XP, but everything else on this is is money in the bank. That's a tough choice. This focus ring, I think, is is the better version of what we were just looking at. Take that just for the selling. More gauntlets. So we have to decide what we want our next hero to be. Since I think we are picking up a new hero here, the question is, what is a good... Ooh, 
What's a good option? I, I feel like poisonous and debuff again, and we just kind of like keep doing what we're doing. Yeah, it, it does seem like that's the that's the logical play. So let's see, level six. Is that our highest level right now? Yeah. Cult Hunter is pretty nice. Yeah, I think we grab a cult. Oh, and it is poison debuff. Holy cow. All right. We're getting we're getting gifts. Mana from heaven. Okay, so. We have no rocket jump capability here, unfortunately. Bully isn't terrible. Have a good one, Sam. Bully I don't think is that interesting. But maybe it's the best that we can do. I mean, that's that's a good build. There is nothing wrong with this build. If it ain't broke, I guess, is the short version. Picking up some stun chance there, too. Pretty good. So we're going to go... I guess we could go Potent Toxins. I guess that's a good point. So Septic Shock, Poisonous. Contaminate. Sadist, Stunning. I think Stunning is more important. I don't think we need the... I don't think we need the Runic Gift quite yet. Good stun coming in on Cassie. Cassie might have a, might have a future in the stun business. A little bit of XP gain I don't think is a bad idea. Skill range is necessary for stun for stun business, for sure. Don't really need don't really need that. I, I would like some things that are going to make her feel a little more tanky. Okay, so where where are we going here? We'll give you give you that, and then I think over here you take that. And for now, we'll give you the hammer. I think I think Cassie's going hammer action. We'll we'll see though. Let's see, I liked this ring. Yeah, no no point in giving that to anyone else. 10% poison. You would lose some poison. You like the skill range that you're getting there. Okay, bad. Don't think we're hanging on to that. Oh yeah, this offhand. I don't think we're swapping to any gauntlets. Can't imagine the the hand crossbow ever being worse than that. The money question is how are you going to deal with the boss, which is immune to stuns, 9000% resistance? Just wand it. Right? That was that was what I was thinking. Hang on to this stuff. All this stuff gets sold, I think. It's over 9000. You're good. You're last. You're good. You are good. What do we got here? No, no. I don't think we have anyone that needs Warlock Greaves anymore. This Silver Hand Crossbow is just slightly better than the ones that were... Do we have someone who's rocking a regular? Yeah.
with XP on it. Oh my word. Hold on. Hold hold your horses, everyone. Nobody panic. Collateral hits has entered the chat. That's that's kind of what I'm thinking in Lustrous. That's kind of what I'm thinking. We don't need this because we're already getting better. I mean, this is... Do we have someone that's rocking? I just realized. Oh, this is hilarious. This is strictly better. So, okay, so we're going to build someone for collateral hits. Right? Yes, we are. So what are the best things to miss with. Axe is one of the exceptional to miss with things, and Gauntlet is the other one. I think Cassie... No, Cassie's our new one. Argavarlan, Rundavara... I think Zena is going to be our person. Got a good amount of blood. Got a good amount of other stuff. We don't care about... Well, we care about this for the action point, but... This should go on someone. Right. Multi AoE attacks that are yeah multi hit multi hit attacks are bad propagate attacks are bad. Do we Cassie? What's your skill range? It's only two. I think we actually do this for now. I'll hang on to this, but it's gonna be interesting to see how Zena does. Anything else here? Zayna might need like another shield, but we can also use collateral hits potentially on the boss. But that's yes. But that's a that's a future a future thing potentially. Block. You got a little bit of resistance. We could go for a little more resistance, but. For now, this is okay. And is collateral hits just going to go crazy? It's going to go pretty crazy, I think. I won't bother rerolling again. I think we're, we're low enough on cash that we can do that. And we have no one that can take this. Yeah, I don't think so. Okay. So this side, I think, is going to have more dense enemies. So I'm going to put Zayna up here with Cassie. I think Zayna is going to go really hard here. So Argavarlan and Rundavara are like the... They're the A-team. They're... No question they're going to absolutely rock it. And I'm just going to fill in. All right. Humans on one side, dwarves on the other. I guess we're good to go. Oh, we, we do need to recoup some mana. Mana recouped. All right, night number six of our negative 100% challenge. The boomers are here. All 
I'm just going to let stuff come in here, I think. Abigail has been waiting for the boomers to arrive. Very excited, I'm sure. Let it begin! It's pretty freaking fun. I'm not going to lie. All right, let's see. Before we get too far. Let's get those guys sorted. Boomers look handled. I'm just going to I'm going to keep those guys at bay, I think. Okay, you you're not making it in, you are making it in. So we'll get you next time. The hoppers buffing the boomers is, is pretty, uh, pretty lame. Pretty lame. <laughs> it's, it's too ridiculous. I can't, I can't handle it. I love it so much. Uh, let's see. Oh, this guy is in. Okay, noted. Uh, if I take one step to the side here, I think I... Ooh, two steps to the side, do I get it? Yeah, there we go, I get it. All right. Um, so before we do that, I guess let's... Let's get rid of this guy. Bad, uh, bad targeting there. I mean, I think we, we have plenty of AP to, to fix it, but... Is this guy, this guy has 154 poison. Oh, that's exact lethal for this guy. That's interesting. Uh, but... I guess the boomers can come in. That's fine. This guy probably should, probably should save for next time. I was trying to figure out if there's a way to get those back boomers. Doesn't look like it. Um, I guess this guy might not be getting roasted. We could quick reload our offhand to get this guy killed. I'll do that. Oh, forgot to contagion them. I think this guy's dead to that. And then the boomers are okay. Uh, okay, I haven't done anything over here with these hoppers. I'm just going to stall them another turn. 
Oh my goodness. The boomers are doing a lot of work for us, aren't they? Collateral Hits is looking very strong. Yes, indeed. It is looking good, Abigail. All right, let's see. We'll just do... We'll do that. How are we doing you? I guess. I guess we'll just do it that way. Oh yeah, I can't I can't hit this guy. I for how quickly I forget. How quickly we forget. So the, the hope was, we just wand this guy. And then I guess the, the biggest problem we have here is that this guy is going to become unstunned and I didn't do a very good job killing him. But I guess we can do work this way. Because this guy is great, because he's going to get Contagion from this guy. So I think that's fine. You have movement now. You don't have movement. How far do you walk? You walk far enough that I don't want to... Alright, I'm going to teleport this hero this turn. So we can let these hoppers come in. I think I'm just bad at challenge runs. I keep trying to go production and not spend money on new weapons. Just roll the RNG. Uh, per, so, so Abigail, I, I think, you know, we, we've obviously talked about this before, but I, I think what it boils down to is production is super fun and also, like, it's just a bit, it's a bit win more. Like you, you have to spend a lot of resources and as you start to tighten the game up and make it more difficult, win more strategies start to fall off a little bit and become kind of like, you know, difficult to, difficult to handle. Um, let's see, so there we go. All right, so the plan is, that that this, If I can get it to target a fair number of enemies. <laughs> and then I just spam. Uh, don't. The problem is when you run out of enemies to, uh, to spam on, as I have done here. Yeah, that, that definitely interrupts the... Uh, Interrupts things. All right. Well, we can. I guess I just teleport you back. We need more movement on Zena. That's the. That's the big. That's the big limiting factor. Okay. So what's what's the play here? The play here, I think, is wrong ability. The play is to use the wrong ability. I will use this. There we go. We'll get that. We'll get Contagion on you. And Contagion on... Ah, eh, you're fine for Contagion. Yeah, stun heroes, though, are really... Uh, really impressive on this challenge. 
yeah, collateral hits is, uh, the problem is, is there's no way to achieve negative, uh, negative 100 accuracy in the game. I think that's actually something that the game needs, and I know that's kind of like a weird, a weird statement, but I think the game would actually benefit from having larger accuracy swings now that they've decided to kind of like go the direction of... Oh yeah, that's right. Have we not taken that yet? I know we had it. Yeah, we're getting it next. We're getting it next level up, Abigail. So, we will get there. Let's see. Now you, you've used up all your stuff. Uh oh. Have I, have I made a mistake here? I think we're taking some panic because I have indeed made a mistake. This boomer isn't coming in, so... Well, and we do have an undodgeable attack here, don't we? And then over here, no way to accomplish a stun here. So I think we can't get rid of that guy. The boomer... There's a question of if I could... How much poison are we? We're doing 85 here and 59 here. That's not enough to kill the Klar. Yeah, it's it's just a lot. It's a lot of cost. So am I really getting all this panic from this one enemy here? That seems, that seems weird, doesn't it? Am I missing someone? I feel like I'm missing something, because this one enemy should not be creating that much panic. Should it? Can't really help you. you do you, oh, do you have a wand? Do you have a wand, but you have no AP left? We could quick reload here and hope for the crit. We will we will do uh, we'll do some research on that, Abigail. There's a hopper. Where the heck is? Oh, this hopper right here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I the obviously their their exclamation point is uh is is very very well positioned. Hmm. Well, we can't do anything about that. The hopper has too much health. I'll spend the quick reload and just see if I can maybe get a lucky crit on that guy. All right. Yeah. But yeah, I missed that. I missed that hopper. Disaster. But this was, that was just a lazy turn for me. That that was just me not paying attention. I went a little a little ham wild with uh with stuns over here. All right, so let's see. So first question is, if I target the wall, do I get collateral hit ch charges? No, I do not. If it just had one more range, I tell you what, it would be it would be truly glorious. Until I can figure this thing out. Maybe I can get it now. But yeah, I will I will check out we'll definitely check to see how uh how collateral works. Let's see. So we need we need to be a little more mindful here. Okay, let's 
we should we should get some good propagation here. Oops. Well, we would have if I hadn't fouled that up. find it hilarious that you're using the gauntlet for collateral hit and I was using gauntlet for Geo Reservoir. I haven't yet hit anything with gauntlet. <laughs> that sounds about about on par. Uh, yeah, I think collateral hit is uh, is good for business, though. Okay, so let's see. So no, no more panic. We're good on that front. Nothing too scary going on over here. You still have one action. What do you have? You have we have quite a few actions. Let's I guess we start working on this this guy. We should put our other contaminate on this boomer. How how far do I have to go to get him? That was that was extreme greed. Not highly recommended. One more magic missile and then we're we're at a bit of a deficit, so I won't I don't think I'll do that. But I do think we should we should toss ourselves into the fray. Cause we got poisonous. Alright, looks good. If the targeting is being calculated in parallel on multiple misses from one attack, that could be as well. Okay, so let's let's test out hero targeting. So okay, so if this how many does this kill? I'm only seeing one collateral hit show up there. Yeah. Okay. So targeting targeting hero does not uh, does not work. I don't need to spend mana here. That's probably ill-advised. In fact, I think these two can just like marinade all of them. This guy's a little annoying though. Targeting heroes does work for perseverance, so there are times when it could still be uh, worth doing. Yeah, that's good to know. Uh, this guy's not actually causing panic, so we're good. Okay, so now let's see. We move you to here, and so it begins. So, okay, so that was two misses, and I see two independent hits coming up on the boomer. So I think that confirms that it's that the way that the targeting is working is indeed advantageous for us. Like, it because it can double target. Yeah, all the panic did come from that one careless turn. It was... It, it, will, it will forever be, be my shame, what can I say? That's okay, though. I think we're going to be just fine. I'm going to let both of these hoppers run in. I don't think... Oh, they do They do get there, don't they? Hmm. All right. Next turn. We'll get them later. Okay, now over here. Okay, 
I think we're all good. <laughs> the absolute devastation. You love to see it. Um, actually, I need to stand here if I want to get hits in on the boomer. I, I'm going to say that's working pretty okay. Now, unfortunately, once again, we must stun the, we must stun the hoppers over and over again. Because I don't want our collateral hits person taking a bunch of damage. So now we just need more collateral hits targets. I do think that the gauntlet is actively better for uh, for what we're doing. Oh, I guess the axe, though, is really good when we're kind of up close and personal. Yeah, that's actually interesting. They They do have different times when they're each good. Okay. I think I'm going to keep my, my pairs the same. Because they were doing exceedingly well. It is interesting. So level of weapon. What weapons does level of weapon actually matter on? It's not that many. Argovarlin can pick up the AP for sure. Poison damage is good. I stand by Blink here, I think. And then Zayna. Zayna's getting Perseverance, which we're very excited about. That's going to make her a, a monster. Do we care about stun on you anymore? We don't. We want, we want damage stats now. Opportunism has a strong argument, but I, I let me roll here. I think twelve percent resistance reduction. I think is fine. Uh, right now, collateral hits for us is range damage. Let's keep it going on range damage, or should we try and get magic damage up? Hold on, how close are we to? Range is only up by 5%. We should we should get this hero magic damage. So I'm going to take stun here. Because I actually think it's better for us to get magic damage. And I'm actually going to look for some magic damage in the gear that we get. To see if we can kind of shift them over. Hello, Santa. Welcome, welcome. I was going to say better gauntlet, but we don't really care about the damage the gauntlet is actually doing, right? The gauntlet's damage is irrelevant, which is... A weird statement to make. Maybe at some point it will become useful. But I kind of don't think it will. Stun Crystal could be useful. Those pants don't seem very good. Inquisitor Pants. Those are kind of cool.
wasn't there a reason that I chose to go to give them collateral? I'm trying to remember. I feel like I feel like I had a good reason for giving it to them. But maybe maybe there wasn't a good reason. I just I think that that magic damage is clearly the best option because of the resistance reduction on it. Yeah, but I made them collateral after we picked everything up. So, but there, there was something about them that I was like, well, we just did just take Perseverance on them. This would be the other hero that could go collateral. I don't think they're better. Like, I think collateral does play well with Sadist and Contamination. Let's see, I, I got an offhand gauntlet. I don't know that I need it. More AP is better. Although with Perseverance, I think you're going to be doing pretty okay on AP. I think we may use up everything we have. So we'll do that. That can go away. This is slightly better. This is trash. So for our collateral hits hero doesn't need poison pants. They need damage gear. That's what they're looking for. Like I, this Baron's Cape is nice, but I don't think we're ever going to have a hero that needs the damage from it. This can get sold now. I think just raw damage is better. Still looking for some magic damage there, but let's let's sell some some of this stuff. Fear of death, so no, I don't think we're gonna use that. We don't have a lot of trinket slots either. Ooh, two move on this axe is good. See, still at 5% range damage. Where Where is that 5% range damage coming from? Coming from the helmet. We can, we can drop the helmet. What is this default to? All things being equal, it goes to physical. Like, I can give the helmet to someone else. You're already on physical, but that doesn't help much. I think I'm going to sell these pants. The Baronscape is nice. This is not nice. I think the helm can go. Where is a... Magic damage something or other? Come on, game. We could also be picking up another hero. That's a really nice shield. Another fear of death. Skill range and movement on this gauntlet. What's the gauntlet that we're currently rocking? I think... Yeah, skill range and movement is good. Like we said, we, we need this hero to be mobile. So we'll do that. Poison and propagate, not really that interesting. a lot of stun percentage. That's also a lot of stun percentage. <sighs> I should probably take this attack turtle charm. That was that's an okay grab, I guess. 
Condensed hate, so no. I guess condensed hate does make a... It gives us one attack every other turn. I don't think it's worth getting. How good is this? It's not that great. I think one of our one of our heroes is basically capped on stun already. Like this hero, yeah, has has enough stun and the rest of the stats aren't that useful. And then this hero really needs the skill range. But yeah, I don't think condensed hate quite works. Uh, do we want the knight's armor though? Yeah, let's grab it. Cassie needs a bit more stun for sure. Now, who's taking this? So you, your, your distance. You have five skill range. So we're gonna give you that. Get you up to nine AP. And then Cassie. Cassie sticks with the focus ring for now. As nice as that would have been to pick, pick up. But I'll, I'll hang on to that just in case. Uh, seriously, like... Magic damage seems really hard to come by. My kingdom for a little magic damage. That's a lot of skill range. I feel like every time I say I want skill range, it just never... It never material... Or not skill range. Uh, magic damage. It just never materializes. What's the deal with that? We have someone who doesn't have a helmet. I will take this one. Yeah, Zayna can be a little, a little more tanky. Because Zayna now has 11 movement, which is good. Okay, I think we'll get rid of this. We'll get rid of this. Get rid of that. Keep these. Yes, your last. Uh, in fact, recently we were just talking about it, and uh, and I asked Abigail uh, what the current status was, and uh, and they said that they're still doing a little bit of bug fixing, but they are mostly looking for. Uh, they're mostly doing working on the new DLC, which should be coming in the future but we don't know when they have they have given no no additional details seriously magic damage plus magic damage swift boots with multi-hit i don't think are good enough oh our hero who's rocking multi-hit you, you're, taking, you're getting some XP out of that, so I don't want to switch that up right now. Okay, one last, one last roll, I think. Ooh, nice. Another collateral hits. Also nice. I don't think this turn we can make another hero a collateral hit hero. But we'll uh, we'll keep it we'll keep it in mind. How does collateral hits play with rocket jump? That could be a fun. That could be a fun one. This this hero looks like a boss, though I will say. Hey, Mark! Thank you for swinging by and saying hi. I I truly appreciate it. And I appreciate you watching asynchronously as well. Let's see. We'll do that. We'll repair. I think we still have six workers.
All right, let's see. I think we will do one into here. Elf-themed DLC, more so than orcs. I think orcs could potentially be more, like, visually different than elves. But, uh, but I hear ya. Wand with an AP on it. 13 stun on this helm is a good roll. Hey, GP! Welcome. A little poison damage, too. Doesn't really matter what the offhand gauntlet is. 11% stun. I think both of our people who are in stun realm... No, I guess this is better than the devils, potentially. Oh, wait. This has magic damage on it, though. Hold on a second. Because, yeah, you don't need you don't need that. So you can go this way. Let's see. Then Cassie. Cassie gets up to 100% stun chance. Okay. Were you already at 100% stun chance? No, you're at 87. But up to 100 is good. Won't complain about that. You are getting an AP off that, which I think means... Technically, Zayna could take this so maybe we'll do that and we got axe axe gauntlet gauntlet this is definitely getting sold definitely getting sold does anyone need poison damage Ooh, goblins i think goblins could be really cool i'm gonna hang on to this and this because i don't think we we need either of those all right let's do some demolition Rundavara has gone all the way up to four mana regen, but shows the power of of that of uh, of mana wells. Uh, okay, I'm gonna take a quick break here, uh, and then we will we'll be right back for uh, for the next round of things. So give me a moment. Need to use the restroom. Uh, don't mind the ads. We will be. I will be right back, and uh, you won't miss a darn thing. Oh, GP! I'm so glad to hear it. I am so glad to hear it. The uh, I always like to hear when uh, when videos are are well received and help people to understand things or generally just uh, just up their gameplay. That, that and so if I succeeded in doing that even a little, that's amazing. Three movement points on a pair of pants. Do we need this? We're gonna be we're the next person we're building is a collateral hits person, so I'm gonna grab that. That looks good. Okay, let's uh let's go for another round. <laughs> 